Hey guys, welcome to Linux Zero to Hero project. My name is Salman Francis and in our ninth video of our bash scripting, we will look the case statement. So let's start. Uh, case statement is used just like if and then statement. Uh, so let me show you and you will have a better understanding. So for this demo, let's create uh, a file uh, case script dot sh okay and we will start as always with the shebang header uh, bin bash okay and here uh, let me echo this is going to be our first example so let's call what is your name okay and then it will read a name so the first two lines are going to do is um, what is it's going to ask the user the name and then it will uh, read that uh, variable whatever the user provides in the form of name and then over here we will add the case statement so case how does the case works uh, we will uh, use the word case then the variable which we want to read and then in and over here we will mention the different cases so let's say if the name is salmon so what it should do it should echo you are authorized and then uh, you can close the case over here with these two semicolons like this but uh, if you don't want to um, close the case you can further go down and add something like let's say I would like to change the directory to this home cell and further I would like to mention you are in uh, your home directory and then echo thank you and now I would like to close this case here so to close the case we'll use two semicolons okay okay other cases let's say if the user types it pings and here it will say uh, please visit it pings.com and case closed third is let's say the user uh, types YouTube and I would like to my channel is Linux King okay and for all the other names we use asterisk and we use echo you are not authorized and then we close the case up here and then to end the case statement we use the opposite of is the like case which is ESAC and that's it this is how the case statement work and let's let me show you okay and ch mod plus x of case script.sh okay one thing I would like to mention here if you want to change the directory you have to use the source and then the case script otherwise it's not going to change the directory so let's first source it okay and what is your name if I add here let's say Salman and there you see we are in you're authorized you're in your home directory thank you and if I use PWD I'm in home dash cell whereas uh, whereas I started the script in root um, directory uh, in OPTN uh, scripting directory sorry uh, you can go back to the same directory where we started the script from and you can see we are in OPT scripting directory so if I don't use this uh, source and I use case script direct it will work but it's not going to change the directory you can see 
So that's why in order to go into that specific directory with the shell script, you need to use source. Again, source case script. Salmon, there we have it. Okay, perfect. So back and let's try the other options. Okay, what if I, I, I use YouTube and my channel is uh, youtube.com forward slash Linux King? Perfect. What about anything else? Let's say blah, blah. You're not authorized. So perfect. That's how the case statement work. Uh, I can show you again. So it started with the echo. What is your name? Read the name. It will store this uh, in the form of variable. And with the case, we use case, then the variable in all these statements. We can mention here different cases. So first case is Salmon. And if you, uh, the name is Salmon, over here you add Salmon. It will change this variable to Salmon. And if it's Salmon, then it will change the directory and echo that you are in your home directory. And thank you. And the first case will close here. If it's, if the user types it pings this variable will change to it pings and as per this case it will echo please visit it pings.com if youtube then it will go here and if anything else which is mentioned by this asterisk it will echo that you are not authorized so that's the perfect example of case okay so let me show you another example in this example we will create um, one more script so I hope that you guys will understand it more perfectly so just a minute okay so we will call this script as distro.sh start with the shebang header bin bash okay echo this time we are going to ask users uh, what is or what Linux distro you like okay so it's going to ask the user the what distro or Linux distro he likes and we are going to store this or read this as a variable var then first case again with the var and if the distro is sent to us first case echo awesome okay case close slackware echo professional case close sus echo super Case close, Debian, Echo, user friendly. Okay, so case close, and to close the entire case statement, we use ESAC. Okay, write and quit, and ch mod plus x distro. So distro sh what Linux distro you like well what about Debian user friendly you see okay we we missed one thing because if this time let's say I add something like um, uh, Ubuntu or something like that you see it's not it's not uh, giving me any answer because we haven't mentioned uh, what if somebody uh, like types a different distro so we need to add here uh, one more and that's a asterisk like for anything else echo the next rules anyway okay perfect So if this time I'll write Ubuntu, 
it will say Linux rules. CentOS, awesome. SUS, super. Slackware, professional. So that's the end of our uh, demo for case statement. I hope you guys have understood. And in our next video, we will see how to use the menu in my bash scripting and we will use the select statement with the case statement to make our script more professional and thank you for watching please do subscribe